Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered two things. How we can read holding register values from our remote Modbus TCP server using Raspberry Pi Pico W. And the second thing we have seen is how we can read the coil status values in our Raspberry Pi Pico W from remote Modbus TCP server. Now in this video, what I want to do is I want to write or I want to update the coil status from my Raspberry Pi Pico to remote Modbus TCP server or we can say remote Modbus TCP device. Then how can we do this? Okay. So in this case also our Raspberry Pi Pico will act as a Modbus TCP client and it will connect to remote Modbus TCP server and then it will write or update the coil status from our Raspberry Pi Pico. So to implement this, first we need to set up our remote Modbus TCP server. So we will use Modbus slave to set up our remote Modbus TCP simulated server. So we will go to setup here and then we will go to slave definition. So we want to perform the operation on the coil status. So that is why we will select coil status and then we will press OK. And then we will go to connection and then connect. And then our connection type is Modbus TCP IP and port number 502 and then we will press OK. So our remote Modbus TCP simulated server with num 10 number of coils is up and running. Okay. Now we have to program our Raspberry Pi Pico to act as a Modbus TCP client and whatever values we are providing either 0 or 1 it should read to these coils. Okay. So to program our Raspberry Pi we have to open Thony MicroPython IDE. And we will write some code in Thony and then we will run that code. So we will go to our GitHub repository and we will copy this code. Uh, sorry, we will copy the entire code here. So we will copy this code in Thony. So if you are using in your system, then you have to change few things. You have to change the SSID and password of your Wi-Fi and then after Port number is 502 for our Modbus TCP device and slave address is 1. As you can see here, slave address is 1. Coil address we want to update is 0. Okay. So first I want to update the coil status of this 0th coil. So that is why I have provided 0 here. And the IP address of my Modbus TCP server that I have to find. So if you know the IP address, then you can directly type it here. Uh, but for in my but in my case I have run this uh, simulated Modbus TCP server in my system, so I have to find my system IP address. So let me open command prompt here. IP config, and here is the IP address of my system. So I'll copy this IP address and I'll use this IP address as a, a remote Modbus TCP server IP address because my remote Modbus TCP server is running in my local system. So I have to provide my local system IP address here. Okay. And then after we are creating Modbus TCP client and here we are writing the value. Okay. And what value we want to write, we have to specify it here. So a coil address is zero and value we want to write is one. So right now the value of coil zero is zero, but we want to update or we want to write as a true. So that is why we have to specify here that we want to write it as write it as a true. Okay. Then after we can run our script. So first our Raspberry Pi will try to connect with our Wi-Fi. And then after you can see IP address of my Raspberry Pi Pico W and uh, the and Raspberry Pi Pico is updating data on this IP address and port number. Okay, so this is the IP address and port of my remote Morbus TCP server. And result of setting coil 0 is you can see operation status is true. So whatever we value we want to set as a in a coil 0, the status of that operation is true here. So as you can see here, we have successfully changed the state from 0 to 1. Now again, I want to change the state from 1 to 0. So I have to run this script again. Okay, so you can see result of setting coil 0 is true. I mean, true in the sense, as you can see here, true. So true is operation status is true. Okay, so you can see here from 1 to 0, we have changed the state of coil 0. Okay, now I want to change the state of my coil 2 to 1. 
So this coil will change the state from 0 to 1. So just run the script and it will be from 0, it will change from 0 to 1. Okay, so you can see here it got changed from 0 to 1. So this is how you can change the state of your coil values using Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, so he this is our remote mode bus CCP server as an example. And here is our Raspberry Pi Pico. And here we are programming in Raspberry Pi Pico to change the coil status. So I hope this is clear that how we can write something to our remote mode bus TCP device using our Raspberry Pi Pico. So our Raspberry Pi Pico will act as a mode bus TCP client. It will connect to our remote mode bus TCP server or we can say remote mode bus TCP device and it will update the values whatever we want to choose. Okay, either we can update the coil values or in the next video we will see how we can update the holding register values. So it can update the both values. So I hope everything is clear in this video and if you still have any doubt, any question or any concern then you can also ping me on the telegram, instagram, whatsapp and as well as you can put a comment in a comment section. So we will see you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.